Australia is a popular destination for immigrants due to its outstanding quality of life, successful economy, and diversified population. It is not surprising that doctors from other nations are interested in immigrating to Australia as doctors and starting new careers. Hi, this is Max from the Visa Library. In this video, I want to explain how to immigrate to Australia as a doctor, the qualification and steps, and their salaries. Also, links for every requirement and a step I will mention is in, the, is in our article about the subject. You can read about them more. Links of our articles in the description. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do it right now and like the video because believe me, you don't want to miss out on our future videos. Are doctors in demand in Australia? Researchers predict a shortage of 9,298 full-time doctors by 2030, especially in uh, regional areas because many medical school graduates are hesitant to practice in rural or remote areas with low population de density. They frequently do not want to leave the city and travel to the countryside or the wilderness. How to immigrate to Australia as a doctor? There are three primary stages for an international medical graduate or IMG to operate as a medical practitioner in Australia. Number one, acquire a successful skills evaluation. Number two, become a member of the Australian Medical Board or AMB. Number three, obtain a visa. How to acquire a successful skills evaluation in Australia? Six bodies are involved in the different skill evaluation and registration process. Number one, Australian Medical Board or AMB. Number two, Australian Medical Council or AMC. Number three, approved competent authorities. Number four, Australian specialist medical colleges. Number five, educational commission for foreign medical graduates or ECFMG. And number six, the applicants. Before I explain the process, I have to tell you about the PESCI. The PESCI or the Pre-Employment Structured Clinical Interview is an objective evaluation of your knowledge, abilities, uh, clinical experience, and qualities to establish your suitability for a specified role. The Medical Board of Australia may need it when evaluating whether or not to grant registration. There are three possible routes for skill evaluations leading to IMB registration. Number one, competent authority pathway. General practitioners can apply for general registration through this pathway. The Australian Medical Board or IMB administers the competent authority pathway which recognizes training and supervised work experience from countries other than the UK, Canada, USA, New Zealand, and Ireland as valid for a provisional registration. Yeah. Furthermore, the AMB demands that you have a job offer before filing for provisional registration. Applicants following this pathway may be asked to do a pre-employment structured uh, clinical interview or PESCI before the IMB considers their application for temporary registration. Number two, standard pathway. The AMC administers the standard pathway generally utilized by medical practitioners who, are, who were not able in the competent authority pathway. This pathway is divided into two halves. For the first half, the candidate must, number one, submit an application to the AMC for a standard pathway and primary source verification. Number two, take and pass 
the AMC Computer Adapting Test uh, MCQ exam. Number three, take and pass the AMC clinical examination and get an AMC certificate. Number four, obtain a work offer. Number five, apply for provisional registration with the AMB. Number six, complete 12 months of supervised practice after receiving temporary registration permission. Applicants can also take and pass the AMC clinical examination and get an AMC credential while finishing the 12 months of supervised practice. Pre-employment structured clinical interviews or PESCIs may require applicants under the standard pathway before the AMB considers their registration application. Number three, specialist pathway. Pathway for specialists is for experts who can be categorized as overseas trained professionals seeking assessment of comparability to the quality of an Australian trained specialist in that specialty or overseas trained professionals seeking a career as an area of need specialist in Australia. Applicants for the specialist pathway do not need a PESCI and the conclusion of the evaluation can result in limited registration, uh, provisional registration or specialist registration. Now, let's see the steps for the Australian skills assessment process. Step 1. Check here. To see if the AMC acknowledges your primary qualification, your credentials must also be acknowledged by the World Directory of Medical Schools for a standard pathway and specialty pathway candidates. Step 2. Obtain primary source verification for all of your credentials. Next, you must set up an EPIC account and submit all of your criteria. Step 3. You must choose the AMC to get verification status updates after you have an EPIC account. Step 4. Create an AMC portfolio. They will obtain EPIC verifications which will be used to measure your skills. Step 5. Begin the skills evaluation procedure by following the appropriate path. For the competent authority path, make an application straight to the Australian Medical Board. For the standard path, begin the AMC evaluation process by going to your AMC account and selecting AMC examinations. After passing both AMC examinations or the AMC CATACQ exam and the workplace evaluation, you will be granted an AMC certificate which you must present to the Medical Board of Australia for registration. For the specialist path, send your specialist application to the relevant specialist medical college for evaluation. What are the requirements for registering with the Australian Medical Board? Let's see. The Medical Board of Australia or AMB is in charge of registration and all candidates must fulfill some requirements. Number one. Continuing Professional Education or CPD. Number two, criminal record. Number three, language skills in English. Number four, practice reliability. Number five, insurance for professional indemnity. Uh, yeah, that's it. What are the temporary visas for immigrant doctors in Australia? We have a TSS visa or subclass uh, 482. Temporary work visa or subclass uh, 457, working holiday visa or subclass 417 or 462, and temporary graduate visa or subclass 485. Physicians can become permanent residents after three years if they meet their age, 
English proficiency health and character requirements. It is substantially more difficult to get permanent residency after 45. What are the permanent residency visas or general skilled migration visas for immigrant doctors? We have skilled independent visa or subclass 189, skilled nominated visa or subclass 190, and skilled work regional visa or subclass 491. What are the permanent residence visas or employment sponsored visas for immigrant doctors? We have employer nomination scheme visa or subclass 186 and regional sponsored migration scheme visa or subclass 187. How can doctors exchange Australian temporary visas for permanent residency? Physicians can become permanent residents after three years if they meet their age, English proficiency, health, and character requirements. It is substantially more difficult to get permanent residency after 45. Can doctors bring their family when immigrating to Australia? Permanent visas in Australia allow you to add immediate family members to your application. Your family members include your uh, spouse or partner, your stepchild or dependent child, the dependent child or stepchild of your partner, your dependent child or a stepchild or your partners, and that's it. Yeah. You cannot sponsor other family members, for instance, your parents, uh, siblings, or grandparents. How much is the salary of a doctor in Australia? In Australia, a doctor or physician usually takes uh, roughly uh, uh, 213,000 AUD annually. However, salaries vary from 78,400 AUD to 360,000 AUD. It is the average annual pay, which includes housing, transportation, and other amenities. Salaries for various doctors or physicians' occupations may vary greatly. What are the language requirements for immigrant doctors in Australia? In countries where English is not the first language or the doctor did not complete their education in English, they must pass the IELTS academic test. Another option for assessing the language skills of healthcare professionals is the Occupational English Test or OET. What are the benefits of immigrant doctors in Australia? Immigrating to Australia as a doctor and starting your career comes with various benefits. For example, you will have rewards for working in priority areas. You can enjoy the standards of living. Uh, you can study and have career growth. You will have job satisfaction and job security. And finally, you will have diversity in housing options. Well, there you go. Now you have the necessary information you need to immigrate to Australia as a doctor. If you wish to know more about visas you can get, go to our article and read about them in details. Link is in the description. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. It will help YouTube's algorithm. You can also follow us on our social media accounts. If you have any type of visa that you want to know about, write the name in the comment section and we will make a video for it. Thank you all for watching.